It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Quantock Brewery Night Jar. It's coming in at 3.9% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the gold bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. It's been brewed with New Zealand hops, which I think is quite cool. So beer in the glass, copper coloured ale, one finger slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. Let's get the aroma. Uh, clarity, it's quite a clear beer. There's a little bit of haze there, but haze is the fashion, so haze is good. Aroma. Yeah, you really do get that lovely New Zealand hop bursting through here. Nice biscuity belly notes, citrusy, lemony, peppery, smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. That's really tasty. To be able to brew a beer, Oh, there's a nice touch of licorice in there on the back end. To be able to brew a beer at 3.9% ABV and fill it full, or, or let me rephrase that, with it being so full of flavour at 3.9% ABV. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. The lower you go in terms of ABV, the harder it is to drag out lots of flavour, certainly from the malt, because to be able to get to that low ABV, you, you're basically not putting, you're putting a certain amount of malt in to get that 3.9. So a 4.5% beer will have a, a, a lot more malt in than a, than a 3.9. But to be able to produce that wonderful biscuity breadiness from a, for a 3.9% ABV beer is very, very good. Very, very good. Anything below, for me personally, anything below 4%, it really starts to struggle in terms of really bringing out lots of biscuity, bready, malty notes. But this at 3.9, it's there. It really is there. So that's the sweetness sorted out. Then you go over to the New Zealand hops in the beer, which are producing a nice lemon flavour with a little bit of spice. And it just helps balance it off with a nice bitterness on the back end. So you've got a nice bit of sweetness to begin with from the malt and a nice bitter finish on the back end with the New Zealand hops. It's a lovely brew. Yeah, it's really decent. Drinkability, of course, is good. You're using lovely taunt and Somerset water. It's just the hops that are bursting through for me that are really doing this beer good justice. It's, it's just orangey, spicy, Liquor, little touch of licorice, grapefruit, lemon, a little bit of mango. It's it's beautiful, mixed with that biscuity hoppiness. Uh, sorry, biscuity hoppiness, biscuity maltiness in the beer. Yeah, it's very good. It's a very good beer. Let's get the rest in. I think the beer is a bottle condition, so you might see a change here in the way the beer looks. Yeah, it's lovely. There's a little change. A little bit more haze there going on. But these days, haze equals flavour. What you, whatever you whirlpool out of a beer, whatever you take away from a beer, say you want a clear beer, you take it, for me, you're taking away flavour. So to add a little bit of haze, I think it's pretty decent. I, I think it's the way, for, I, I've always said that anyway, I've always been one. If you have a look at some of the really, really, I, I did a beer review from 
Humpty Dumpty Brewery uh, down in Norfolk and it literally had a big yeast was all over the head of the beer like brown stuff and I was like yeah back in the day you know yeah this is the way to drink beer and whatever but um, a lot of people shouted at me a lot of people were like no it's a dirty beer you know it's not the way forward but now of course we're going through this whole hazy beer phase where uh, these new New England IPAs are all the rage what does a what does a brewer say on the bottle A copper coloured ale generously hopped with New Zealand hops, imparting a full flavour with lots of aroma and a fruit filled finish. Yeah, I go with that. Rating for Quantock Brewery Nightjar. For a 3.9% ABV beer, I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.